Hey guys, I'm Kirby here, back for the last part of this recording session, or this video upload session. Uh, this is the rest of chapter 18, and then also, like normal, I'd also do the small part before chapter 19. Uh, right here we have a conversation between Ike and Shinon. Uh, they're going to have one more off-screen duel. Uh, and obviously Ike's going to win because <clears throat> Ike seriously has surpassed Shinon's skill as far as we're concerned. So yeah, they're just going to go into a little, uh, um, little duel right here. Shinon's joking that if he wins he gets control of the whole army, which is obviously not going to happen. But yeah, uh, after that, that basically um, basically assumes that we are going to get Sheen on no matter what. And then we also have some conversation between Ike, uh, the soldiers of Binyon, and then uh, we actually talk to Nazar again, who has actually been absent as of late. But he does uh, bring some good news uh, to us that Gallia, the Beast Kingdom that we were in way long ago, has actually decided that it is finally going to um, act against Binyon, or not Binyon, uh, Dayan. Since, uh, I, I guess they've gotten the word that the bird tribes have helped join our cause, uh, the, the herons are also behind us. And since we're actually making a move on Dan, uh, with Minion soldiers backing us up, that it seems like going against Dan is actually a safe bet right now. <clears throat> so, we're actually encouraging a lot of the other countries to become part of this war. Uh, even if it is to help Crimea regain its land, I guess it's also working towards uh, making the whole entire land peaceful as well. Of course, some of the Dayan people are probably not going to like this, but hey, not much we can really do about that. And now we're back at Nesot with Nesala and his soldiers. Uh, Nesala is going to find out that uh, the humans that they're fighting against are actually a lot stronger than they let on. And they need to find some way of reporting to Dayan that the, some of the Kilva soldiers were wiped out completely. So yeah, it seems that Nesala is actually working with Dan for whatever reason. I'm not going to go into why, but that's the case. And then the final conversation for this chapter is between Soren and Nazar. Soren finds this whole thing kind of uh, strange because Nazar just came out of nowhere with uh, the news that Gallia is joining up with uh, the attack on Dan. And then, uh, Soren's also going to start realizing that Nazar might actually have some other... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He might have some other motives, or motives. I prefer motives, but it's motives, I guess. Uh, that for uh, doing what he does. And in fact, Soren is actually going to just uh, straight up say that he thinks Nazar is actually a traitor because uh, he thinks Nazar actually informed the enemy that, um, that we were coming. So, I don't know. We'll get more into that later on when it becomes more relevant. And it will get more relevant in the following chapters because I believe it's chapter 21 when everything comes to light on the subject of Nazar. But we'll find out more about that later. Again, as I said, sorry if I kind of just like stumbled through the words to that, but I don't know. It's very late right now. I want to go to bed. So yeah, please forgive me if I sound kind of uh, rushing right now. And now we're going to do another one of those map scenes where we go over what we already know. And then a brief overview of what's to come. <clears throat> Chapter 19, Entrusted. 
sounds interesting, I guess. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to talk about Shinon. Uh, Shinon is a sniper. Uh, I think you already know that because, well, um, we actually used to have Shinon in our party. But now we have a little bit of a situation in hand. Do we use Shinon now that we have him back, or do we actually use Rolf? To be perfectly honest, both Soren, uh, Soren, both Shinon and Rolf are really good units. And you really can't go wrong with either one of them. So, my advice is, if you're going to train Rolf the entire game to the point uh, to where you uh, get Shinon in the game, then by all means use Rolf because you've basically been using him the whole time. His weapon level is going to be quite high. He should be able to start using some of the more complex bows, like the double bow. So, if you've been using Rolf this entire time, it really wouldn't be a bad idea to actually start using him. Uh, he's not that too low leveled right now. Uh, otherwise, if you haven't really been using Rolf at all, especially if he's not even a sniper yet, you might want to go for Shinon. Uh, basically, both Rolf and Shinon have the same positives and the same negatives. So you really can't go wrong with either one of them. But uh, that's about it for uh, all the stuff I wanted to cover through uh, Chapter 18. Uh, I had a little conversation there between Nasala and Petrine, but wasn't really that big of anything. MVP of Last Battle was Nephany, and that ends this set of videos. I'm actually going to stop these videos and go straight to bed. So... I'll talk to you guys next time when I decide to film more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Chapter 19 should be up on, I want to say, Thursday. See you later, guys.